just got to Crescent Beach but uh, it's not looking very promising for parking so we'll have to see how it goes I'm going to try down here where I went before and we'll see what happens like I say it's not very promising somebody's just gone out and somebody's just taken that spot but I don't anticipate there being many more spots I think it's a case of one out and one in this is where we began our last little jaunt as you can see Blackie Spit but we're not doing that today and I don't know whether we're going to do Crescent Beach or not either it's just going to be a case of driving around I'll go down to the end of the spit and see if there's anybody move in there and if I can get in I'll get in if I can't I'll go somewhere else so it looks like I'm coming back out of this little car park I will go down to the end of the spit like I said but I'm not very hopeful it looks like this could be another mission impossible here we'll just have to see how it goes so it looks like I'm heading out again there's absolutely nowhere here to park. It's ridiculous, really. I knew it is a Sunday afternoon, so it's to be expected. But we'll have to do this another day. We're on the way out. So now we're on the road out again. The trouble is now there's a whole ton of traffic going up in the direction I'm going because it was like that when I was coming in I should have known I should have turned around earlier oh well you live and learn we'll find somewhere else to go don't worry the job's in hand well I dropped a right clanger there didn't I hoping I could get down onto Crescent Beach on a Sunday well I've learnt my lesson anyway never mind I found somewhere else to go so we're going to go to Crescent Park the expedition carries on. And here we are at Crescent Park. We'll find some trails and we'll see what happens today. Played football here once, a long time ago. And what White Rock were playing here. I think this is probably the field where I played actually. Probably was that field, it's a long time ago. It's got to be in the 1980s. So obviously they don't use it as a football field anymore. But you can see there's lots of people out today and thankfully they're keeping in their own little groups or little pods or whatever they're keeping their distance from other people like they should we're going to motor on past all these we'll see if we can find some secluded areas see if there's any food around for survivor man there's a nice little pond area here And there's a sign telling us something about it. Did you know that feeding ducks and geese can do more harm than good? Well, yes I did. A lot of people don't. Keep giving them bread, don't they? See, there's a load of ducks. I think I'd rather eat the ducks than the bread. Oh well, you know what they say? Ducks off today. Nice little pond for them that. Got quite a nice little area with it. I'm going to keep going right. I think that's a good plan and then if you get lost you can always keep going left as you work your way back can't you? Logical. Tell you what, they're into half some big trees in here. Look at them, they're massive. 
I knew they grow big round here. I try and avoid photographing other people. I don't want to invade their privacy, so I, sometimes I cut off if people are going past. Back on the trail again, but I can hear voices in the distance. Maybe they're going the same way as me. I haven't seen much wildlife yet, apart from the ducks. I can hear an Italian singing in the distance. Definitely an Italian singing in the distance. Singing, aye, 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 aye. All them are better than Blackpool. Must be entertaining the troops somewhere. There he goes again. Can you hear him? I hope you can hear that. We'll have to have a wander around and see what's happening. Oh, there's somebody applauding, so obviously there's an audience there. I've hit a crossroads here. So I'm going to change the bond. I'm going to go left here, because that's where the music's coming from. So I want to see what's happening. Because I'm a bit nosy, that's why. Well, there's a field here. People sunbathing, I can see. Funny how sound seems to come from a different area. It sounds as if it's coming from the left now. Oh, there he is. Let's go and see what's happening. There's a little band actually. There's a few of them. Two on guitar. One banging some maracas or something, and one fella singing on a guitar, and people dancing. I'll give him his 15 minutes of fame, and that's it. But I won't be waiting 15 minutes for it. <laughs> Moving on now. I'm now back at the junction where I where I broke the bond and went left. So I'm going to keep to my own standards and I'm going to go right this time. So forget I moved down there. And we'll just pretend that we didn't see that fella singing. And we're moving on as normal on the right. Survivor man has triumphed again. He's found some raspberries, look. But they're a little bit past the best. I knew in, a, in an emergency situation they could be eaten. Quite a big bush and there's some down there as well. I'm going to move on though. Because I'm replenished from before. Very quiet down here now. Ah, oh, I've hit another change of direction. So I'll stick right again. I don't think that route to the left was. Oh, yes, it does. Carry on. Rewardless, as they say. Carry on, rewardless. While the kids have been on lockdown, they've been painting rocks and leaving them in places that you wouldn't expect to find them. So this is one that says Brielle on it, so I assume that that's the person who painted it. Let's give Brielle her 15 minutes of fame as well, eh?
Oh, we've come to a road, I think. Yes, we have. Okay, this is where we do a U-turn. We don't want to go out on the road. No wildlife there. Okay, I'm going to turn around and go back and we'll see if we can find a different route. It's another one of Brielle's. This time it's on a log. I found a nice little secluded path that they haven't done before. So we'll see where it leads. There's a few obstacles here. I'm over them. I'm over them. Coming out into a bigger path here now. Seems to be a bigger type of road down there again where I'm heading. Families are out exercising, just like I am. Time I got my bike out actually. Another warning there not to throw bread on the field. Not a healthy food source. Well I've been going 25 minutes now, so I think I should start to work my way back. I don't know where it is, that's the trouble. So I'll follow this path down here and see what see where I come to and then I'll take my bearings from there. A nice little bridge coming up. I can hear water running. Must have imagined the water. It really did sound like water. We'll plod on anyway. Follow that man on his bike. Coming into some sort of uh, built up area now because we've got some fencing in place. So civilization is around the corner, I'm sure. Should have brought a compass with me, shouldn't I? Ah, oh, there's the field. I know the field. Oh yes, this is the way back. So we're on the right route. Trouble is, it's the wrong field. I don't know this one at all. <laughs> oh well. We'll go and see if I can find the field and fi find some where I came in. Doesn't matter anyway, does it? There's no limit on time. It's a nice day, so what could be better than walking out here? Well, it says there, danger, deep water, thin ice. I don't think so today though. I know where this is now, this is that pond where the ducks were. Yes, I know where I am now. This tree here is a Sitka spruce, and it's over a 100 years old, it's over 120 feet tall. Look at the girth on the on the trunk, quite big. So the duck pond were around the other side of it, so I've got to come around the other side I think to get back to where the ducks were. That is, unless it's a different duck pond, I think it is. This is a duck pond I meant. So now I definitely know where to go. I've got to go through these trees here and back onto this path. And then that takes me down to the field and to the exit. Did you ever get the feeling of this is where you came in? 
Well, I've got that feeling and I feel now like this is the way I go out. So that's where I'm heading, down this path. You can see how some people got here, can't you? Ah, and there's the car park. Yes, that's definitely where we came in. I'm just telling you that the coyotes live in this park. If a coyote comes near, you scare it away. Now, I only got the problem of finding my car. I think we've been in this position before, haven't we? Perhaps you can help me out. Don't see anything familiar yet. This looks more like it now. Yep, we're back in business. Oh, well, I finally got back. So I just want to say thanks very much for watching and be seeing you.